Hey Batty's family, welcome back to our channel. So happy Friday. Oh my gosh, it's Friday, 12 more days till Christmas. I'm so excited, it's going by so fast. And it's Friday the 13th, but nothing but positive things are happening today. I haven't told you guys, my mom has been in the hospital in ICU for a week. She went in last Friday for her asthma and um, there she's finally getting released today. So I'm currently waiting at the hospital, waiting for her to break, waiting for them to bring her down right now. And I'm so happy, oh my gosh, I hate when she's in the hospital because, I mean, I know she has really bad asthma, um, but when they admit her, I know it's serious. And it was serious. Um, her lungs are really bad and she still has a cough and her lungs aren't as clear as they would like them, but they're much better than they were. So the doctor believes that it's okay for her to come home and just follow up like with her treatments at home and take her medication and stuff. So she'll be good. So I'll be taking care of her at home. And yeah, let her take it easy. I'll probably be making some either chili or some chicken soup for dinner tonight. And then I'm gonna pick up some food for Michael and the boys. Um, and Kehelani. But yeah, so. I love Fridays. I don't have to wake up early in the morning to get the kids up for school. And lately, Kahelani has been tripping on her sleep. Like, I don't know if she's growing. I don't know if she's growing out of her bed. But she wants to sleep because she, she, they they sleep in our room, but they have their own cribs. And like, I don't know. She, lately, she's been. I can rock her back to sleep, but she hasn't even been wanting that. She just wants to be in our bed. And I'm like, not even gonna make that a habit. So I've kind of just been up with her all night. I literally only slept like three hours last night because this girl would not let me put her in her bed. So hopefully it's just a phase. And I have a feeling she's getting rid of her bottle on her own because she doesn't even want to have her bottle. And she, yes, she still has a bottle and she's past one years old. I know it's bad, but Kai got off of it on his own. So, and I think that's what she's doing too. Like she hasn't really been wanting it. So that's a good thing. Um, yeah guys, so I'm waiting for her to come right now. We're gonna go pick up some lunch. It's 12.56 and then um, maybe stop at the grocery store to grab some stuff for dinner. The stuff I need to make dinner. Um, and I will see you guys at home. Hey guys, so we're home. And Michael's out here detailing and I wanted to show you guys car he's detailing because it's pretty neat. You guys, it's always really cool because when he um, details at home, I get to see like different um, cars and stuff. But yeah, I am right now, I'm just really trying to mop real quick. And I'm just trying to pick up a little bit before the boys get home because once that happens, I don't really have much time. I, have to make sure they're good. How is school? I do homework, feed them, and on top of that, I have the babies already here, so it's a lot. So I just try to give myself um, a little um, head start before they come home and try to get things done. So I got a lot of questions as to what, sorry, whoa, as to what I pack on a trip for kids. And luckily, um, I unpacked the majority of um, everybody's 
stuff, but I didn't unpack Kai and Kehlani stuff, so I'm gonna show you real, real quick. Okay, so being that there's what? Eight of us all together traveling majority of the time. I like to pack in like the vacuum seal method, I call it. Even though I don't use a vacuum seal, but it's kind of the same thing. Like you just get a large um, freezer. I take the gallon size freezer bag. You put them in here, push it all the way down, zipper it, and I label mine. What I put in this bag is a day's clothes. Um, shirt, pants, um, either a diaper sock or underwear and socks, depending on what's for. Zip, I push the air out of it, zipper it, and put it to the side. Same thing, hand on it. Um, I put her clothes in here, zip it, layer it, put it to the side. It makes packing so a hundred times more easier. And this time around for me, it was actually my first time doing it. It worked wonders and I'll always do that method from now on. And when I unpack, I didn't unpack the kids yet because I had to grab um, some more hangers so I could hang with the clothes. So I just left them in here so that I don't get messed up. But for like Anaya, Romeo and Skylar and, uh, well I really didn't use the Ziploc for me and Michaels. I just did it for the kids. Um, that way it'd be more organized. Um, but I just unpacked their stuff and I put the Ziplocs, folded them nicely in their suitcases. That way next time, I already have the Ziplocs ready and I don't have to go out and buy more. So yeah, I mean that's what I did for that. Travel on, um, carry on shall I say, I'm sorry. Carry on, um, everyone has their personal bags. One personal bag I allow um, for the kids. Tablet, snack, drink, earphones. That's all, and cell phone. That's all I think the children need on the carry-on. And maybe one toy. Depending on how long the flight's gonna be, toy or not toy, because normally the tablets or phone kinda just occupy them, right? So for me, my carry-on would be um, for myself, just my phone, the tickets, my um, wallet with all my essentials, um, necessities like ID and all that good stuff, birth certificate for the baby, um, and maybe some chapstick and hand sanitizer. And that's it for me. Other than that, is everything's for the baby. So I was holding the Hailani stuff, so that was diapers, wipes, snack, a pair of change clothes, and that was it for her. Um, and her bottle and then I, we couldn't bring in her milk through security we had to purchase it once we got to our terminal once we got to our terminal um, we went to Starbucks to grab some milk for her and then after that that was it for Kehlani for Kai Michael was very same thing really um, a pair a couple of pairs of diapers wipes um, actually no I don't think he brought one because I already had wipes so I think it was just like a couple diapers um, and a pair of clothes, snacks, his tablet because Kai has a tablet and his headphones and then Michael had his stuff, his wallet, his phone, his snacks because Michael needs some snacks and drinks and stuff like that but that's pretty much it for carry on. Nothing crazy. It wasn't even that bad traveling. And um, we actually got a compliment during, like, through security. Um, that one of the TSA workers um, had told us that we make traveling look easy, which was a compliment because I thought psh, it was kind of crazy. But actually, no, it was good. Um, we did overdo some stuff. Like, I didn't know that children under under 12 didn't have to take off their shoes. I didn't know that. Um, and the first time around we did take their shoes off so that took up some time but the second time through security was kind of a breeze the first time until we realized once we got to our gate that our gate changed so we have to go through security again so that was crazy that was going that was going coming back from San Diego but um, it was good we were like two hours ahead of time anyway before our flight took off um, but yeah so I mean a lot of people get intimidated with traveling with children, but don't. I mean, kids are normally good. Just as long as your kid's not like freaking hella sick before your flight or um, doesn't have like a really bad ear infection before because 
Kai did freak out on the way back home when our plane was landing because his ears were bothering him. He was screaming for a good 15 minutes from landing all the way until we exited the plane. So, yeah, they say to like let your ch child like suck on a bottle or like eat something. Kai was actually sleeping, so we couldn't really do either, and he doesn't suck a bottle. So, um, yeah, he it kind of got him at a bad time, so he was kind of like over it. But I mean, and you know what? I don't think like you're gonna be alone if your kid does freak out because there is so many children that travel with their parents, and there there was like I think three or four babies on our flight going and coming back that were horrible. They were screaming. It, ugh, it was bad for them. I felt bad for the parents. But yeah, guys, and try to keep it simple. I normally pack. Like we stayed for seven days and I packed, I may have overpacked three or four outfits, but my I like to always go by better safe than sorry. And um, I know we did have to buy two pajamas, pair of pajamas for Kahilani while we were there. Cause I only had packed, um, I think five of them. So um, yeah, we did have to do that, but I normally pack a good outfit for a day, pajamas obviously for that night, and a chill, a pair of chill outfits for the day. So one chill outfit. So that's a total of three outfits a day, including pajamas, chill outfit, and um, your good outfit for like what you're gonna do. Yes. She is coming, but she has dance first. She has to do dance first. Yeah. I'm happy my mom's home. I just want her to rest. And. She's not resting. She made some red beans. She's like, Gina, I want some red beans. And I was going to make some chili, but we already had grabbed food. Um, so she went ahead and just put it together, though. She just got the cans out of the, um, I mean, the beans out of the can, though. So she didn't have to work too hard. She just chopped up some onions and stuff. Um, so, yeah. Oh, my God. Let me show you our elf. I didn't show ya. Our app for today. Look at how clever this thing is. The Elf on the Shelf, a Christmas tradition. Official cereal of the North Pole. Can you guess which one is our elf? Is it that one? That one or that one? You guessed right. It's that one. I know the kids are going to taste it. Say hey, Ron. Okay. It is, I think it's like seven something, almost eight maybe, but yeah, we're waiting to pick up Anea. She has dance. Um, she has, she's starting to have dance like late Fridays and sometimes Saturdays. They're getting ready for competition season. All right, guys, well, I'm going to go ahead and get these kids in the bathtub, wash them up, put them in some pajamas, and then I'm going to be waiting for Nate to text me so I can go ahead and um, pick her up. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, comment and share with all your friends, family, and coworkers. And we will catch you in our next vlog. Bye. Bye. Bye.